So in today's session, we will start with the R type instruction in RISC-V. So R type instructions in the RISC-V architecture are used for the arithmetic and logical operations between the registers. Okay. So R type instructions are the instructions where the uh, where the instruction is where the operations are performed between the registers for example so before this r type uh, let us discuss uh, how the instruction is being stored and where the instruction is being stored so when we write any instruction let's say suppose uh, uh, add rd rs1 rs2 like this uh, if we write any instruction so this instruction will be stored in a memory called instruction memory okay so this will be first converted into binary this we have already discussed in our previous sessions also so this will be converted into binary and this binary uh, number will be stored into our instruction memory right so this instruction memory uh, uh, this instruction will be stored in inside our instruction memory and there will be a pointer called program counter pc so this program counter will uh, point towards the instruction which uh, the processor uh, wants to fetch okay so the processor will use this program counter as a pointer for fetching the instructions from this instruction memory so it will fetch one by one instruction one by one okay so it will fetch the instruction one by one from the instruction memory so the program counter will fetch this basically so the all the instructions which we have written inside this instruction memory will be fetched by the processor using the program counter so coming to this r type instructions so we have already uh, seen the architecture of uh, risk 5 right so in our previous session we have seen the architecture of risk 5 so there we have uh, a file called register file okay so in risk 5 architecture we have already seen that how many registers we will have so total we will be having 32 registers okay each of 32 bit in case of rv32 32i and uh, 64 bit in case of rv64i so we will be having 32 registers so if i want yeah this is uh, the instruction so if i want let's say suppose add rd rs1 rs2 so this is the instruction format okay so this is the instruction format now if i want uh, two if i want to add two numbers two plus three but uh, this numbers are stored inside two registers let's say this is r not register r not so we have 32 registers right so this is one of the register in uh, among them and r1 and r2 okay so this two will be stored inside this r1 and this three will be stored inside this r2 okay so the value which has been stored inside this register so the operation will be performed between these two registers or the values which has been stored inside this two registers okay so in case of r type instructions what happens the the operation will be performed between the values who uh, which are stored inside this registers okay so there will be no direct operation between the values okay remember this so in case of r type instructions what happens the uh, operation will be performed between the values which are stored inside this registers okay so the operation will be between this registers so and the output which we will get that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 this output will be stored inside another register which is called as destination register so here the output uh, the result will be stored okay so in case of r type instruction the operation will not be performed between the immediate values so we will call them as immediate values or direct values so instead of performing uh, the operation between the immediate values what happens it the operation will be performed between the values which has which are being stored inside the registers okay so registers will be used to hold the values okay so coming to the uh, format of this R type instruction, so we have function 7 which is of 7 bits and RS2. So this is the address of second register, second register and this is the address of first register, 
this is address okay address of first register and this function uh, this field is called function 3 which is of 3 bits and this is the address of destination register so after performing the operation between whether it may be add addition subtraction multiplication or division so after performing the operation between this rs2 and rs1 the uh, we will get some value right so that should be stored inside another register okay which is called as destination register destination register okay destination register so for this destination register with to uh, in which register it should store uh, this uh, shows the address okay so this is the address for that destination register address of destination register and this is opcode field which is of 7 bits so this is the format of R type instruction. So we have different type of instructions in this query. So we are we are discussing about R type instruction. So this is the format of R type instruction. Function 7, which is of 7 bits, RS2 5 bits, RS1 5 bits, function 3 3 bits, RD 5 bits, and opcode 7 bits. RS2 is not, uh, nothing but source 2, which is nothing but source register. And this is source register 1, source register 1, okay, yeah. So let us discuss one by one field in, in more detail. So coming to function 7, so this function code that together with function 3 specifies exact operation. So this function 7, this field and function 3, this field together will uh, tell exact operation like what operation uh, it is we are going to perform or the processor is going to perform we have a table here so we will see how function 7 and function 3 together will uh, help us to decide what instruction it is uh, we will see okay now rd sorry rs2 which is a source register address okay so this is the address or index for the second source register and rs1 this is also address for or index for the first source register so this is the address for second source register and this is the address for first source register so we are not going to uh, so the values will be store will be stored inside the registers okay rs2 and rs1 okay the processor will uh, go to this register will uh, will fetch the values from this registers and will perform the operation between these two values and the processor will store the value the resultant into another register like this okay so the processor will fetch the uh, values from this two registers rs2 and rs1 so uh, the address for this rs2 and rs1 will be given inside this instruction only rs2 and rs1 like this okay which are of five bits and uh, the values uh, it will perform the operation so after the uh, performing operation so in which register the value should be stored that address also will be given in the instruction only that is the rd okay so this field is for the destination address okay now function 3 so function code that together with function 7 specifies the exact operation okay and op code so specifies the type of the operation example arithmetic logical okay so this opcode is used to indicate which type of operation we are uh, we are going to perform. So the opcode for R type instruction is always 0, double one, double zero, double one. So in uh, while developing the wedlock code also we are uh, going to see this. So the opcode for R type of instruction will be 0, double one, double zero, double one. So we will write the case statement like uh, if we have seen the uh, specific opcode. Uh, then we will come to know that uh, it is a R type instruction. So for, uh, for different instruction like I type instruction, the opcode may change. Okay. Now let's see uh, this table. So which is describing more about this. So coming to the add instruction, add is nothing but a simple uh, destination register RS1 plus RS2. Okay read is equal uh, destination register rd is equal to rs1 plus rs2 we are just performing the uh, addition operation between two registers okay so for that the function 7 value is this okay which is of 7 bits all zeros and function 3 is 
triple zero. And the opcode will be same since the for R type instructions the opcode is same that is zero double one double zero double one. Okay. And function seven is all zeros and function three is triple zero. Then it is a addition operation. So just remember this table. And no need to remember also. Just note down uh, anyway. So using this table only we are going to develop our processor code. Okay. Now for subtraction operation. Uh, the function seven value is zero one all zeros and function three is triple zero and the opcode is same. So subtraction is nothing but uh, R S one minus R S two subtraction between the two registers and we are storing the result in a destination register R D. So this is the uh, address for the destination register. Now this is shift left logical. Okay. For this the function seven is all zeros. Followed by function three double zero one. Here you can see combinedly uh, with the help of function seven and function three, we are deciding what type of operation it is, whether it is a SLL or a subtract or addition. So this is uh, shift left logical, and the opcode is same. And shift sorry, this is set less than. Okay, so if R S one is less than R S two, then our output will be one, which will be stored in our destination register, or else. The output will be zero. That will be stored in the destination register. For that, uh, the combination of function seven and function three is this one. Okay, and the opcode is next. This is set less than unsigned, and this is XOR operation. You can see the function seven and function three are uh, different for every uh, operations. Okay, but the uh, opcode is same. And this is SRL shift right logical. You can see the function seven and function three are different. So we have different combinations of function seven and function three together. These are uh, together. Uh, they are uh, they are deciding which type of instruction it is. So what happens? So we will having uh, a unit called control unit. Okay. So we will be having we will be developing this unit called a control unit. So in that. We are going to uh, decide the type of instruction. We are going to decide the type of instruction using this function seven and function three and the opcode. Opcode is so opcode is a broad category. So if opcode is uh, some zero double one double zero double one, then we will come to know it is a R type instruction. So in this R type instruction. What kind of operation we are going to perform? So this will be decided by our control unit using the help of this function seven and function three. Okay, so this is about R type instructions in RISC-V processor. So I hope it is clear and you have got the clear idea about R type instructions in RISC-V. So yeah, so that's all for today's session. Thank you.